Hello and welcome to the Lightning Lecture on CSS in Xamarin Forms. I'm Judy McNeil. I'm an instructor here at Xamarin University at Microsoft. Before we get started, I'd like to give you an idea of where to find some really good information on this. This is the pull request at Xamarin Forms for style sheets. If you take a look at that, you've got some great documentation on what you can and can't do in the style sheets and kind of how to do it. We'll cover a few of these. David also did a really great blog post on styling with Xamarin Forms where he does some basic styling and then he does some really cool stuff with SAS. So let's get started. First thing, I've got a basic Xamarin Forms application here where I've added a stack layout and a few labels, an image, some entries. Let's just run this to see what it looks like. So here you can see we have a savings planner, we have a label, we have an image, we have labels and we have entries. Not a lot of style to it. Let's fix that. First thing I want to do is add a style sheet. Now you can do inline styles with C data, but we're going to add a style sheet. I'm going to add a folder. And we'll call it styles. And in our styles folder, we'll add a style sheet. Ah, style sheet. We'll just call it savings styles helps if you spell it right all right when you get the style sheet you're going to have to set its build action it's none at the moment you'll want to set that to embedded resource Okay, now let's get started. We're going to use something that's kind of interesting. We're, we want to style, first of all, just a background. Okay, for, and we want all of our pages to have the same background. So I'm going to style the base class, which is content page. And doing that, you'll need the little caret. And then content page. That tells me that's the base class. And in it, we'll just set background. color and we'll set it to Azure. Okay, let's just start there. We've got something we can test, so let's go into the main page and add our style sheet. We're going to add a resource. And in our resource, we'll add a style sheet. It's going to try to do extension. We'll get rid of that there. We don't want extension. Source. And we are on our relative URL here. It would be styles. And then savings styles. Dot CSS. All right, so let's run that and just see what we've got so far. And we've got a nice Azure background. Light, but not bad. All right, let's start with the big label at the top, maybe. We'll do a few things in this style sheet, just so we can get some practice on them all. Let's do a class. 
we'll call it header. And in it, let's do a font size of large. And we'll do a text align of center. And let's put some margin on the bottom. We'll say 20. Then we have to go into our main page and apply our class. So let's apply that to our first label here, Savings Planner. Style class and we called it Header. So let's see how that works. Not bad. We've got it larger and it's now centered. Okay. Some of the other things we can do in our style sheet. Let's um let's do one where we've we're going to do our stack layout. And we'll do uh inside the stack layout, we'll create one called outer for our outer stack layout. And we'll add some padding. Let's say padding of 20 on that one. And once we do that, we'll need to go into our XAML page, find our stack layout, and we'll set the style class here to outer. That should give us some padding. Now we've got a little bit of padding here. Let's come off of the edges some. Now we'll just do a few things kind of in a row. Back to our style sheet. Another thing we can do is maybe for our entries, they're kind of small. And maybe we want to make all of our entries consistent. We'll do them all at a width of 150. Okay, I also have a box view in there that I'm going to use to create a nice little line across. And so I'm going to create, let's just do an ID here. We'll do box line And we'll put a few things in it. Let's make the background color black so we can see it. We'll make its height 3. We'll put margin on either side, top and bottom. let's say 20 and margin bottom. Twenty as well. Okay, so we'll have larger entry sizes and then we'll have a nice little line because if you go over to our XAML I've got a box view here. I'm going to add a style ID of box line. That's what I called it. So now when we run it, let's check those two things.
Okay, we've got 150 here. That looks good. We've got our nice little box view here. That looks pretty good as well. So now we've used style sheets to kind of style this page a lot, a lot nicer and we can use this in many different places. So go check out CSS and Xamarin Forms and have fun with it. Thanks for watching.